Now, as many of you may already have heard, Greater Manchester Police has been put into special measures by Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabularies after a scathing report that we covered last week. Oddly, in the report, there was no mention of special measures being implemented, only that HMIC would revisit after six months to check that things have improved. And then suddenly, a couple of days later, news that the force is being placed under special measures and Chief Constable Ian Hopkins resigning. Hopkins is said to have already been off work for a while, signed off sick, uh, with an inner ear infection since the end of October. The condition that he is said to have been suffering from is labyrinthitis, or vestibular neuritis, which is said to normally get better within a few weeks, according to the NHS, but Hopkins has been off since the end of October, which is some seven weeks. As I said, the HMIC never mentioned anything about special measures in their report, but suddenly the reports are that Greater Manchester Police are to be placed under them after the inspectors expressed serious concern uh, when the force failed to record a fifth of all reported crimes. A fifth of all crimes relates to some 80,000 crimes from between June 30th, 2019 and July the 1st this year. And to give you some idea of how bad this is, Cleveland Police were the first force to have ever been placed in such measures in 2019 after an inspection by the HMIC found that they'd been failing in all areas of policing. Greater Manchester Police is only the second ever police force to be placed under those measures. The move will involve much more hands-on involvement from the Inspectorate, the Home Office, College of Police and the National Police Chiefs Council, with the measures to remain in place until Greater Manchester Police can demonstrate sufficient improvement. Bearing in mind that Greater Manchester Police were told to improve by the HMIC in 2016, with HMIC Inspector Zoe Billy Billingham saying, I am deeply troubled about how frequently the force is closing cases without a full investigation, giving the reason that the victim did not support police action. She added, in too many of these cases, the force didn't properly record evidence that the victim supported this decision, particularly in cases of domestic abuse, where 7 in 10 were closed on this basis. While it is simply not good enough that these concerns have not been addressed for over four years, I acknowledge that the force is taking action to address these deficiencies. Since the scathing report by HMIC and Ian Hopkins announcing that he has been off sick, it turns out that Hopkins has now resigned from Greater Manchester Police too. You know, all I can see in my head is a rat leaving a sinking ship. And who knows, maybe this so-called ear infection wasn't as bad as he made out, especially as he should have been over the worst of it within days, maybe a week or two, but was still off after seven weeks. Hopkins issued a statement in which he said... Oh, sorry, wrong item. Or was it? Hopkins issued a statement in which he said, These are challenging times for Greater Manchester Police. The force has a long-term strategic plan to address the issues raised by the HMIC, and I believe this plan should be led by a Chief Constable, who can oversee it from start to finish. Considering what is best for Greater Manchester Police and the communities we serve, and given my current ill health, I have decided to stand down from the post of Chief Constable, with immediate effect. It has been an honour to serve the public for 32 years, nearly 13 of which as the Chief Officer in Greater Manchester Police. Throughout my career I have been committed to achieving the best outcomes for the people I serve. The decision to stand down is not one I have taken lightly, but I feel the time is right. I was due to retire in autumn 2021 and bringing that date forward assists in the timely recruitment of my successor. I would like to pay tribute to my colleagues and the many dedicated officers and staff I've had the privilege of working with throughout my service. Not one for leaving anyone out. Home Secretary Pretty Awful Patel has accused Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, of throwing Hopkins under the bus to save his own skin. Although I'm not sure just how true this is, especially when you think back to all the failures of the force over the years. In a letter to the Chief Constable and Mr Burnham last week, Priti Patel said the report paints a worrying picture and she was deeply concerned. But Mr Burnham accused her of failing to give a fair and balanced picture of Greater Manchester Police. Victims Commissioner for England and Wales, Dame Vera Baird, told BBC Radio 4's programme 
The force's failures were outstandingly bad. She said crimes were like stalking and coercive control were profoundly traumatising and victims needed not only the support of the police to get orders restraining a perpetrator and to take them to court, but they also needed to be safeguarded and referred to appropriate victim services. She added that none of that was happening and vulnerable people had simply been deserted. Priti Patel's party political spokesman is said to have issued a statement to the media in which they said, it's no surprise that the Labour Mayor of Manchester, Andy Burnham, has thrown a senior police officer under the bus to save his own skin, adding, this is exactly what happens when Labour are in power. People are let down by them. However, even with Andy Burnham accused of throwing Hopkins under the bus, he doesn't escape scrutiny himself after Conservative MP of Bolton West, Chris Green, said Mr Burnham, who oversees policing in the area, should step down. Of course, Burnham, who is no doubt comfortable earning his £110,000 a year, as reported in July 2019, refused to step down. When asked why it was the Chief Constable who had stepped down and not him, Andy Burnham said, because I do not run Greater Manchester Police. The police service is operationally independent from politicians, and rightly so. My job is different. I have to hold the police to account for the services they provide to the Greater Manchester public, and I am here today doing my job holding the police service to account. Yeah, and what stellar job you've been doing of that over the years, Andy Burnham. Conservative MP Mr Green said Mr Burnham should resign now, as he has absolute responsibility for policing its failures. His role ultimately is to ensure that Greater Manchester Police is delivering. He is in a position, if he doesn't think Greater Manchester Police is performing and is delivering, then he can challenge and, if necessary, he can sack the Chief of Police. That is Andy Burnham's power over policing in Manchester. He has absolute authority. Well, if you ask me, these people who get paid such large salaries should be held accountable. The problem is they get so used to drawing their wage and living comfortably that they soon seem to forget why they are actually there in those positions. Police and mayors always say things like they want to, uh, they want to take the role to make the city a better place. But if that's the case, then they don't need paying so much, do they? If they are really doing it for the benefit of the city, then let them do it for that reason and pay them a proper wage. As public servants, these people should have a cap on their wage and shouldn't be able to benefit off the misery of others. They should have a set length of time that they can be in these positions before having to step down or retire to prevent them from being blinded by the benefits to the actual detriment of the people they are supposed to be serving. Big thank you to channel supporters, one and all, especially these guys. Your support helps ensure I can continue putting out content. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials. Mm -hmm.